Hi, welcome to Jamaican Cooking 101. Today we will be frying some plantains. And we know that plantains can be had at any time of the day and can be served up with just about any meal. Now, the plantain comes from the heliconia plant, just like bananas. Plantains could be used in its green state or we could wait until it has ripened. Today we will be using the ripe plantain for frying. Here we have two ripe plantains and the dark spots you're seeing here would have occurred from bruises when the plantain was still green. So we are going to be cutting the plantain in three different ways and frying them so that you can see different methods. This one, the first one, we're going to be cutting in diagonal slices. So we have a frying pan being heated and we will add some oil to it. The amount of oil you add to the frying pan will determine the kind of fried products you will get. If it's a shallow frying, then you'll find that the products aren't as golden brown. But if you want a nice top golden brown color, you are to add enough oil so that it covers or even come halfway up to the plantains that are placed in the pot. So we're going in for some diagonal slices. Try to get them as even as possible. Remember, if you get them the same size and shape, they will cook evenly. All right, so we're gonna be adding the oil and this is just about quarter cup of oil for the amount of plantains that we will be frying. So we're gonna wait until that oil is hot enough and we know the different ways of testing the oil. But today I'm gonna just put a piece of the plantain in to see if it is hot enough, right? Okay, so we're going in with these plantains because the oil is hot enough. Now we don't overcrowd the frying pan as overcrowding will cool down the oil and cause frying to be slower and the products, the plantains, will absorb too much of the oil. So we put in just enough so that each piece has its own little space. Alright, we're gonna organize them so that the oil can move around each part of the plantain right so each one will have its own little section so that the oil can get around and give it its golden brown color now ripe plantains because of the sugar that is present will burn quicker than green plantains when they're being fried so you must maintain the temperature and have enough oil to prevent burning while those are frying, let me show you another way of cutting the plantains. So we're peeling and then we will slice horizontally and vertically. This one we're going to be slicing horizontally, right? So once it's placed on the cutting board, you're just going in and slicing. We slice evenly. Those that are sliced in large pieces will take a longer time frying. But many persons don't like a flimsy slice of plantain they want a hearty slice so let's quickly turn these and you're seeing that they're golden brown if you want them to be darker then it means that you just leave them to cook for a longer period of time all right but these I think are ideal color and so we will turn all of them okay this one is actually more on the bronze side some persons prefer it like that others prefer it to be lighter all right so we're giving them space making sure that each one has its individual space and can fry evenly all right now we use an absorbent paper such as your paper towel or your parchment paper once they've finished frying and this will take away the excess oil we could also use a cooling wrap to drain the plantains. Now we try not to cover the fried plantains because this will cause them to become soggy and no one really wants a fried soggy plantain. 
so we are taking them all out and allow them to rest for a while continue to drain all right we're gonna put in the remaining pieces of plantain and give them space as we said if the oil is not hot enough give it some time to come back up before placing the remaining pieces of plantains all right so we're gonna get a few of them in and allow those to brown on one side and then turn all right all right while those are being fried we are going to cut this other half of plantain into another shape so we're gonna have long slices and we remove any stain so that we don't have any burning taking place so we're going in and we're slicing these just about one eighth of an inch thick if you want them a little thicker then no problem but they'll take a little longer time to fry than if you had them in thin slices all right so we're gonna set these aside and check on those in the pot right these are golden brown and beautiful all right so a quick turn of each and we are well on our way all right so these are golden brown and they are about, just about ready to be taken out so let's prepare our plate with paper towel and we're draining them a little and taking each one out now you could use a cooking fork and it might do a better job than this spatula all right so here we go we have them all we're taking them out have them drain a little oh wow all right so we're gonna take out the remaining amount just in a minute or so give them a little time to brown up okay now we have a little space in the frying pan so let's go ahead and add the remaining pieces of planting all right so we are taking out these small slices just to make space for the longer slices all right we will place these on absorbent paper and shuffle these to the side to make way for the bigger slices so we're going in with each piece making sure that we have enough space for all of them if you realize that you don't have enough space just don't crowd the pan because that's gonna cool down the oil as we said all right so we have space for everyone let's shuffle these a little turn them and they should be out of the pan in no time so that the larger slices will get some space you will notice that we are still using that same quarter cup of oil so it was able to fry all those pieces and when we're finished oil will still be left back all right so let's go in and take out those small pieces drain them a little and place them on the absorbent paper so these larger pieces can get some more space uh, let's see if this one is ready to turn oh yes it is all right so let's go in and turn all of them if there is need to flip them over again then we go right ahead and do that okay so everyone seems to be doing just fine so we'll arrange them in some kind of order so all of them can have their little space all right so we give that just about a minute to complete frying you would have noticed that i'm using a jamaican cast iron frying pan and the reason i'm using this is because it will hold the heat it traps the heat and then slowly releases it so let's check these these seem to be fine and ready to be removed all right so as we said at the beginning of the video plantains could be served at any time of the day and with just about any meal it has a sweet taste to it but at the same time it is adding variety and texture to whatever meal you are serving up and here we have our plantains golden brown and beautiful fried plantains cut in three different styles thank you so much for watching jamaican cooking 101 
and do try some fried plantains next time.